The past few months for us have been very significant. We've achieved a number of milestones in the project development. Um, substantial completion on the construction side was achieved just before Christmas. We did mobilise the PCM contractor. We've now started to do the commissioning of both parts of the plant, uh, the front end, which is the uh, spodumene section. We've produced spodumene on site. We're now commissioning the back end of the plant, uh, the hydromet section, for the lithium carbonate production. Uh, that will be ongoing for the next few months. Our other big hurdle was to produce lithium concentrates before Christmas 2012. When we did that, we produced our first spodumene concentrates. And we'll make our first lithium carbonate shipment in March 2013. Uh, that will go to our Chinese off-taker, Taewoo, and then we'll grow our shipments into other Asian ports, Japan and, and then Korea. And then we'll build up from obviously zero production at the moment through to full production of 20,000 tonnes a year by the end of 2013. We continue to meet the timelines and milestones that we set three years ago. We finished the EPCM construction in, in December. Uh, we were on time and just as importantly we were on budget. Our, our capital budget of $207 million remains intact. So it's nice to report that we've achieved both of those milestones. So our full production rate is 20,000 tonnes a year. Uh, we'll achieve that on an annualised basis by the end of the year, but obviously 2014 will be our first year of full production. And we're forecasting revenues of about $120 million a year, and EBITDA in the region of $50 to $55 million. The lithium market continues to be strong. Uh, predominantly in Asia with the Asian battery manufacturers. Obviously the, the offtake transaction with Marabini Corporation is significant for us. Uh, we're going to sell up to 5,000 tonnes a year of our production into Japan to the big battery manufacturers through Marabini. Marabini obviously a very significant trading house in Japan, one of the oldest trading houses, and we're extremely happy with that partnership and how that's developed. So we'll make our first shipment to Marabini in July 2013. Uh, obviously first year of production, about 2,000 tonnes will go into the Japanese market and then we'll build up to the 5,000 tonnes over the next three to four years. Uh, we also find that the biggest market for us is China. Uh, we have finalised our offtake with Taewoo Corporation. Taewoo are going to take 12,000 tonnes a year, so 60% of our production uh, for the Chinese market. So between the Chinese and Japanese market, uh, over 75% of our production is, is sold. So the Asian market continues to be strong. The Asian market demand is strong for battery grade lithium carbonate and our production starting in 2013 is perfectly timed to bring new material into the market. We continue to build a very strong management team on site, uh, obviously led by Charles Tashro, our Chief Operating Officer, but we've just appointed our new General Manager Yves de Voisier, so he brings 20 years of experience to the processing and mining operations and general management of the site. Uh, we now have a full mining group we have about 100 people operating in, in the mining operation itself uh, and we're just starting to build the processing team. We have about 75 people in the processing team. So over the next 12 months uh, we will grow to a team of 200 people operating in Valdor. A majority of people are residents of the area. We don't do any fly-in, fly-out. We just uh, have people who live and work in the area and want to work on our lithium project. So strong community relations continue to be developed. We, we have the MOU with the First Nations a strong relationship with local communities and local government. So between our employees and local community, uh, we're going to be a long-term employer and, a, and obviously a very successful employer in the Abitibi region. So our biggest competitive advantage in Quebec is cheap hydroelectric power. So what we're doing is trying to value add to the Quebec lithium project by moving downstream. So we've finished all the test work and the feasibility study and the detailed design for lithium hydroxide uh, and we want to be in production of lithium hydroxide by 2014-2015. Uh, we've also started a feasibility study to lithium metal, lithium metal used both in batteries and also in the aerospace industry uh, for lithium aluminium alloys. So if you look at the value chain, lithium carbonate currently selling for about $6,000 a ton, lithium hydroxide for around $7,500 a ton, but lithium metal sells for about $60,000 a ton. So we're looking to move downstream into the high value add as quickly as we can.